So our next business rule says product categories are hierarchical in nature in the sense that one category can contain zero or several subcategories and one category could belong to zero or one other category. So what we are effectively saying here is that you may have a product category and that may have many subcategories. So for example, electronics may be one product category. Okay, so under that there might be several subcategories, you know, like for example, uh, consumer electronics or uh, medical electronics or something like that. Okay, and within consumer electronics, you may have further subcategories like toys and, and so on. Okay, so you could have that sort of a relationship within categories. And just to make things simple, we have said that uh, any given category can be a child of at most one other category. Okay, so we're making it a strict hierarchy. You've got one major category and then there's subcategories and each subcategory has other subcategories within it. Each of those could have it, their own subcategory, but every subcategory has at most one parent category. Okay, so this is a strict tree relationship, just like an organization uh, structure. So that's what we want to try to model. And so what we do in order to model that is to clearly understand that this is a unary relationship, right? Because this only talks about relationships among product categories. It's not binary, two entity types are not involved in this relationship. And we model it this way. So this takes care of all the business rules that we have specified, all the business information that we have specified in our original description. And at this point, we can say that our logical model is complete. Okay, notice that uh, we should have for every attribute, we ought to have specified a data type for the attribute. And like I said earlier, for all character types, which is var care two, we must we should have specified a length. And for all numeric types, we should have specified a precision and a scale. And we must have a, a primary key for every entity type that we create. Okay, primary key obviously is a must in uh, logical modeling in databases. Generally, you don't have tables with without any primary keys, so that's required. Uh, but more importantly, we have also followed the guideline of create of every entity having its own primary key rather than relying on any kind of key migration for primary keys. Okay, now this is not a strict requirement in logical modeling, uh, but it's just a, a useful thing to do. And the reason I'm also doing it is that uh, when we later go into Apex and start building our application, this decision helps us. It simply makes things a lot easier. That's all. Okay, so that completes our logical model of the problem situation that we chose. Okay, now before we finish the logical model, let me just quickly go through certain items for the checklist, right, as a checklist to make sure that your ERD is now ready for moving forward, ready to move forward. Okay, so as I've already said, every entity type has its own primary key and we don't rely on key migration. No spaces or hyphens in entity type or attribute names. This is very important although I have not mentioned it earlier, right? So at this point, if you do have any entity types or attribute names, which have either spaces or hyphens or both in them, then you need to go back and fix that issue, right? So for example, you, would, you could replace a hyphen with an underscore. Okay, hyphen is a problem because it's actually the minus sign. And therefore later on, when you start doing SQLs, that will be a problem, okay? And spaces obviously are not desirable. Okay, so uh, so if you don't, if you have not met this, you need to go back and fix all of those things. Okay, and again, uh, you should not have two entity types connected by a completely solid line. In other words, the line is solid on both sides of a relationship. Uh, that's a big no-no because it can cause a lot of other troubles. Okay, and again, as I said, use uh, solid lines with great care. Okay, use a solid line only when it's absolutely required. Otherwise, use a dashed line. Okay. 
again what i've said is that uh, whenever there is a many to many relationship in the original description right you may initially draw it as an actual many to many relationship in your entity relationship diagram but you must create an associative entity type for that many to many relationship okay so ultimately when you look at your final logical model there should not be any many to many relationships at all because if there were any many uh, many many to many relationships you would have converted them into uh, converted that into an associative entity and therefore the many to many would have got resolved into two one to many relationships okay so that's again something very important and of course every attribute has been assigned a type a data type and like i said earlier every numeric and var care attribute has size right so for a numeric attribute you need both precision and scale and for a var care attribute you need the length okay another very important thing is foreign key attributes are implicit okay what what i'm saying here is when you have a one to many relationship we know that the entity on the many side of the relationship has the primary key of the entity on the one side of the relationship as a foreign key okay we know that this is the case but this is implicit you should not be adding this foreign key by hand the oracle data modeler will automatically add this attribute this foreign key attribute okay so you shouldn't be messing with that so once your erd meets all of these criteria and you should check it very very carefully uh, so that you don't run into trouble uh, trouble downstream when you do other things based on this model okay so you want to make sure that this model is completely correct it meets all of these requirements and then you're in a position to proceed so do not proceed unless you meet all of these requirements and are sure that the erd captures your intent